Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Outer Worlds. I... Oh, yeah, I remember. I'm sorry, it's been a short while since the uh, previous episode. I have new weapons. I have the heavy LMG, the light LMG, a rifle, and a bopper. <coughs> And since I have the heavy armor, I now am a tank. So let's continue forward. I'm not going anywhere, you hear? What's going on? You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. Are you sure about that? What's going on there, buddy? What seems to be the problem? Uh, can I buy supplies? Not without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. Supplies are hard to come by out here. That's fair, I suppose. Take care. <laughs> All right. Where was I going again? <coughs> Sublight. I wonder what this place is. Salvage and shit. Just plugged the last of the O2 leaks. I'm ready for downtime. Nasty encounter you had down there. Sorry, man. Sprout pirates, right? Oh, How you planning to spend your night off? <gasps> Ike's armory! What do you have? Hey, you look familiar. You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times you have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Okay. Ooh, a plasma cutter. Cool. Let's see here. Ooh, elite true bomber. I don't think I have that yet. Leather gear business casual. Enclosed padded helm. Clothing plus block. Hmm. Okay, I have four sets of riot control armor. I'll need to sell one of them. Never mind, I need to sell two of them. <laughs> Let's see here. Wanna put attack speed, so do you. No, armor rating, I'll keep you for now. Okay, I think I'm good. Thank you, Ake. Auntie Chloe's. Is that what's back over there? Wait, I'm confused. Do I just go back this way? Oh, uh, I'm smart. <laughs> Why? This is how it's done. XS 411? And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? The board would My bait. remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Mama. I thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sub level. 
I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn, though. All right, you ready for your interview, Lass? June Lee Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Not at all. I'm captain of the Unreliable, though my ship's a bit grounded at the moment. <laughs> I heard we had someone in impound. Wish I could help. I gave the bureaucrats a mode of authority over freight traffic, and it rankles them good when I challenge it. <laughs> Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Marduts, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. I'll try my best not to make any trouble. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Well, I have a... Uh... <laughs> just passing through. <laughs> I have a mechanic who wants to be your apprentice. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Aw, oh, thank you, buddy. Pavate! You wanted to talk to her? What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junle. Uh, uh, Chief Junle. Junle is fine. Nudge Parvati to continue. <laughs> um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Let's silently encourage Parvati. Wow, great! I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Jun Lei. Not a problem, Captain. Ask away. Seems kind of warm in here. <laughs> Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Hmm. Only the board has access to new parts. And I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Yeah, that's fair. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Sounds pretty rough. You need a contractor to work this out. I'm available for a reasonable right. That's science 15. I don't... <gasps> I don't have science written down! Yeah, let's sell our services. Actually, let me just flat out ask, is there a way I can help? I... We'd be grateful for your assistance. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Uh, okay. Hold on. There's something you should know before you go charging off. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. Is that so? Can we try to talk this out with whoever's down there? Those idiots are immune to reason, and they don't much care if the station melts to pieces. They're content to die last. 
If you could find some way to solve this without violence, I'd prefer that. But more than anything, we need those parts. Gotcha. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. You're welcome, buddy. I'm so proud of you, Pavati. Let's go. This is Halcyon Noon. We enjoy. Time to go visit the Backstreet Boys. Have you seen this man? Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastard. Capture of noted terrorists. Yeah, no one Rome. wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are Ford's property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief June Lee's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back. I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. The Mardettes would space you for trying, you... you waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. Look, just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life, Marcy? <laughs> All right, let's go before we get into another fight or something really bad happens. <gasps> Level up! All right. Come on. Come on, let me. Are there enough tramps and halcyon to make up the difference? Take another look at that half-empty docking bay and tell me what you think. There we go. Perks. I can get a new perk. Let's see here. Let's take that to careful weapons and armor. Let's go with Negotiator. Whoops. Alright, now I need to... Hmm. Let's see here. Plus two armor when using a melee weapon. Don't really want that. Put some into dialogue. Haha, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Things seem to be going reasonably well. Wait, where was I going to go again? Journal. Uh... Okay, let me... 
go to there we go get new parts for the radiator I think yeah We're gonna fix the grain breaker. Reward offered for information needed for the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. Phineas Wells, eh? I won't take you all too. Come on, Yuta. Deserters forced to return by heroic stranger. The salvation of Emerald Vale. What? Company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. I wouldn't mind parlaying with the king. Wait, what? Wireless controller disconnected. What? Okay, that was odd. Please don't disconnect again, controller. Come on, man, I just want to parlay with your king. Can I do that? Hmm? Please? Buddy? Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. Huh. Yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Hmm. Let's see here. Persuade or intimidate? <laughs> You're only getting out of this alive if you play nice. <laughs> Ooh, look at the courage on this one. Lay it on me, boss. Give me a taste of that fiery primal spirit. I'm here for some parts. You got any? That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. Is that so? Can I get the part then? You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, 580 bits. I don't have that. Uh, let's lie. I'm so glad I leveled up uh, dialogue. Those parts are leaking deadly toxins. I'll just come back after you're dead. <laughs> Under its skin, this ship is all poison and darkness. Lead bones, asbestos muscle. Maybe you're right. You've got the run of the kingdom. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. Woohoo! Thanks, Mechred. I am so glad I decided to level up dialogue. I, uh, I, I don't think I would have been able to uh, get. Oh my god. Oh my, yeah, I don't think I would have been able to get past this thing. Uh, he said up the stairs. Up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. Uh, uh, I think I've been past it. Come on, Pavati, we gotta go up some stairs. 
Is it this way? This is down. Yeah, wrong place. Um, did I pass the stairs? Stairs. I'm so stupid. Place falling apart. Can't spell groundbreaker without broken. Oh wait. Ha ha. This man's gonna be pleased as pie when we show her these. Exactly. We're making friends, Parvati. I'm proud of us. Burn Pavati and Preacher Man. <laughs> Phony Preacher Man at that. <laughs> Spicer's choice. Taste the freedom. <laughs> Jun Lai, I got the part for you without killing anyone. Aren't you proud of me? Please be proud of me. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Got the parts for the radiators, what now? Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call up at the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight mantapillar infestation. A uh, mantapillar, eh? <coughs> well, don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Pavati. You clearly don't know who, uh, who your captain is. I am the complete opposite of gentle. <laughs> Alright, where are we supposed to go? This way, I think. Come on, you two. There are friends. The controls are in the back of the machinery staff area. Keep clear of the Say, well, let's get to it. <coughs> Got it. Yeah. So wait, what? We gotta sneak past something? Quietly now. <coughs> What's over here, I wonder? Stairs. <gasps> it is really warm down here. 
system. Mechanical sentry. Uh, hmm. Do I want to pop it? Yeah, I think I will. <coughs> Actually, what's other melee weapons do I have? And I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I uh, I hope you enjoyed. And you'll, uh, you'll see me in the next video. Where we'll hopefully have everything fixed and the ground baker won't be overheating into a, uh, a burnt crisp. Like a microwave. <laughs> Choose. some nonsense. <laughs> Especially you, Pavati. I mean, I killed you, boss. And you kind of freaked out on me.